students how are you all i hope you all are fine at your home today we will see standard 7 subject science in the chapter number 1 nutrition in a plants in that in the previous video we have seen part 1 today we will see main 6 in the part 2 define each carries one mark see the number 1 nutrition definition is a process of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body is called nutrition number 2 photosynthesis answer is a process by which green plants utilize carbon dioxide and water for to synthesize their food in presence of sunlight and with the help of chlorophyll is called photosynthesis number 3 autotrophic nutrition answer is the mode of nutrition in which organisms synthesize their food by themselves from simple substance is called autotrophic nutrition number 4 parasitic nutrition uh, parasitic organisms means parasite answer is an organisms that depend on living organisms for their nutrition is known as parasitic organisms number 5 septotropic septotropic nutrition uh, septotropic plant answer is a plant that obtain nutrition from dead and decaying matter is called septotropic plant main 7 answer the following questions in a sort each carries two marks each question number 1 why do organisms take food answer is organisms take food for the following reasons point 1 to build their bodies point 2 for growth and development point 3 to repair damaged part of bodies point 4 provide the energy to carry out life processes point 5 to maintain healthy and disease free body see the question number 2 how would you taste the presence of starch in a leaves answer is the method are that the presence of starch in the leaves that methods are point 1 pick one grain one green leaf from a plant growing under sunlight point 2 keep it in a beaker containing boiling water for 5 to 6 minutes remove the leaf from the boiling water and place it in a test tube containing enough alcohol place the test tube in boiling water for some time the green color of the leaf will be removed point 3 now wash it with pure water point 4 put 1 to 2 drops of iodine solution on the leaf and check it its color point 5 color of the leaf turns black or blue it indicates the presence of starch in the leaf question number 3 give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants answer is the leaves of green plants have green pigment called chlorophyll it helps leaves to absorb the energy of sunlight this energy is used to synthesize means prepare food from carbon dioxide and water thus green plants synthesize food in form of carbohydrate with the help of carbon dioxide and water in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight this process is called photosynthesis now the reactions are chemical equations are carbon dioxide plus water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives carbohydrate plus oxygen it's a co2 means carbon dioxide plus water means h2o in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives ch2o means carbohydrate plus oxygen see the question number 4 explain the statements life is impossible on the earth. absence of photosynthesis answer in plants prepare food by photosynthesis with the use of solar energy and release oxygen gas 
all animals on the earth directly or indirectly depend on green plants living organisms use oxygen for respiration thus two basic requirements for life means nutrition and respiration are fulfilled by photosynthesis so life does not exist in absence of photosynthesis question number 5 how do plants synthesize protein answer is plants synthesize carbohydrates during photosynthesis carbon hydrogen and oxygen are the constituents of carbohydrate but for protein synthesis nitrogen is essential besides carbon hydrogen and oxygen plant is unable to utilize free nitrogen from the air some soil bacteria and algae convert atmospheric nitrogen into its soluble form farmers add nitrogenous fertilizers in a soil such soluble forms of nitrogen are absorbed by plant thus protein synthesis occur in a plants through metabolisms of carbohydrates and use of nitrogen see the question number 6 how do plants with red brown or yellow leaves perform photosynthesis answer is plants with red brown or yellow leaves possess red brown or yellow pigments respectively the leaves other than green also have chlorophyll the large amount of red brown and other pigments marks the green color thus the part of leaf which is even non green possesses chlorophyll so photosynthesis take place in a plant having red brown or yellow leaves question 7 how are fungi beneficial answer is benefits of fungi are as follows yeast and mushroom are used in a food point 2 Certain fungi are used as a source of antibiotics means medicine penicillium fungus is used to obtain penicillin antibiotic next point fungi decompose dead matters question number 8 how are fungi harmful answer is fungi spoil edible items such as pickles bread roti and make them non edible Next point some fungi causes disease in a plants animals and humans Next point fungi spoil leather clothes and other articles in hot and humid weather Question number 9 what is symbiotic relationship explain with an example answer is two organisms live together and share shelter and nutrients this is called symbiotic relationship again two organisms live together and share shelter and nutrients this is called symbiotic relationship in this relationship both organisms are beneficial to each other for example like in so symbiotic relationship between chlorophyll containing partner alga and a fungus fungus provide shelter water and minerals to alga in return the alga provides food which is which it prepares by photosynthesis main 8 explain giving scientific reasons each carry two marks number 1 alga are autotrophic plants example alga possesses green pigment chlorophyll it helps alga to capture the energy of the sunlight this energy is used to prepare food from carbon dioxide and water since it synthesizes own food through photosynthesis alga are autotrophic plants number 2 cascada is a parasitic plant answer is cascada is a leafless plant with yellow colored stem it is unable to perform photosynthesis due to absence of chlorophyll so food is not synthesized by itself its yellow tubular structures twine around the stem and branches of a host tree it absorbs ready made food from stem of a tree so cascada is a parasitic plant now we will see the main nine in the next video part 3 stay safe to healthy okay bye